So, would you say I have the tiniest nipples? No. Who has tinier nipples than me? Like, you've got some little nips. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. But I've, 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 I have been with a girl with smaller nipples. Uh, Dustin, are you a child molester? No. Dude, I have, like, child nipples. You do. <laughs> Which makes it really <laughs> weird for me. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and they grow some hair. L little ring of hair. I'm like, guys, make up your mind. See, I've got kind of bigger nipples. What, no, a lot bigger. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, Cause like, I'm like saying, I, my nipples are bigger than average. I have the teeniest nipples. Yeah, yours are smaller than average. Mine are bigger than average. Nothing beat one of my brother's friends. This guy had nipples... Like they they were bigger than silver dollars, they were just freaking huge, and I never saw them until we went to the beach. He took off his shirt, and there's that Family Guy episode. And they're talking about Abe Lincoln's nipples, like a random joke size of dinner plates. This guy's was these guys' nipples were like half the size of that. That's a giant nip. All right, I'm gonna look over the wheel for a minute. His nipples were that big around. That's Imagine a dude, average build with nipples that big. I'd say maybe... How many inches would you say that is in, uh, in, in, uh... I'd say maybe about four inch diameter. Yeah. That's crazy. They were the biggest. And I stopped. I know this is the rudest thing I've ever done to that kid. But I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Dude, your nips! <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I know. I have big nipples. That's why I don't like taking my shirt off a lot. <laughs> your nips! <laughs> it's like, shut up. Let's just get in the water. <laughs> you have big nipples! And I'm like shouting this at a beach. Yeah. There's other people, and here I am just going, you've got big nipples. <laughs> He's like, well, you're kind of fat, but I don't have big nipples. Like, I could lose weight. You'll always have those nipples. You will forever have big nips. Every girl who ever sees you, a guy take a girl home, they know what they're getting. Oh, he's kind of a big guy. Whatever. You, you are a surprise waiting underneath that shirt. Someone's going to go, whoosh, oh my god, what are those? Like, foreplay with you? They don't need to use their mouth. They need like a fucking vacuum cleaner. Just kind of like brush over you a couple of times. That's disgusting. <laughs> they were so big. Were they hairy? No. Smooth, big old nipples. What the fuck? Why do I have hair on my tiny little child nipples? I've got hair on my nips. Yeah, but you have normal nipples. I also, I have... Have, I also have a pretty freaking hairy chest too. Oh, dude, nipples. My friend Sko, he has three. Is it like a third one somewhere or just like two on top of each other? Um, it's, it's, he has his two normal nipples, and then directly below his left one, <laughs> like, about four inches down, there's a little nipple. <laughs> I mean, it's got, like, a little tip and everything. It's a little nubbin. That's weird. Or, or, I sit down, it gets hard. Are you, really? <laughs> he can feel with it. He has his little, uh, I don't need gas, I'm just gonna blow it, drive through. That's fucking weird. Well, he had a genius idea. He wanted to uh, get a Pac-Man tattoo. Yeah. And like have like a couple of dots straying away from the nipple and then Pac-Man coming in. Yeah. So it looked like Pac-Man was about to eat his nipple. Like a waka 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 waka. Oh uh, no, like we had a teacher one time in our class. This is back in middle school. I was fucked. We're going back to it. What? I don't know. That's just what the sign said. Say it again. I was fucked. I can make you say that. That's fun. Anyway, what are you talking about? Teacher in middle school. And I don't know if he was a teacher. Maybe he was like a supervisor uh, or something like that. Anyway, guy was in a wheelchair. Uh, paraplegic. Like, had his legs, but pretty much useless from the waist down. <laughs> he was... A... <laughs> I like that description. <laughs> oh, shit. Wake up, Bubba Craig! We're hitting stuff. And then I was just standing on the street, on the sidewalk, <laughs> people walking by me. And I realized, like, dude, you have never clenched your ass. It, unless you hold it for as long as you can, you have no idea what it feels like to hold in shit. <laughs> I was exhausted. It <laughs> fucking hurt to do it that long. And it got to the point where I was just standing there and I went, I don't care anymore. <laughs> the level of effort I have to put in to keep this inside of me is 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 now has now surpassed 
My fear of shitting myself. <laughs> I got a flip I, over. I'm laughing too much. <laughs> I would rather shit myself than continue to hold this in. Now, another word of advice: if you ever want to, if you 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 want to poop the fastest you've ever pooped, <laughs> hold it in for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just standing on the sidewalk and then in a matter of like a second <laughs> because this thing had been backing up the entire time all the pressure's there this thing had been waiting old it, faithful's erupting <laughs> it was supposed to have been coming out this entire time but I had been holding it in with my iron ass cheeks <laughs> so just in a second I feel Boom! <laughs> I drop the biggest log I have ever dropped into my pants. <laughs> you wear skinny jeans too. No, I, d I didn't at this time. Oh, I wish you did because everyone would have seen that. <laughs> but dude, there was like... Like if I, if I touch my forefinger to my thumb, it was wider than that. Oh shit. And... It was, Ooh. it was, it was probably more than uh, a foot long. God, it sounds like that patient we so had I, with the bowel obstruction. I just sat on the sidewalk next to my dad's car. And I just <laughs> waited. And then my brother came by and was like, you need to go get dad. <laughs> I pooped my pants. <laughs> space is awful. It is but we exist in space. We yeah. must respect Well, that's why that's that's why we need to have space travel. We can go out there and kick space's ass. Is that the whole point of space travel now? Yeah. Be like, NASA we don't should no be fucks. funded to defeat space. Why did we spend all that money to go to the moon? It's not like we have a booming moon industry now. I think it's more of a just because we could. Yeah, because we're just like, hey, fuck you, space. <laughs> we're on the moon now. So we've actually been kicking space's ass anyway. Well. Baby steps. Except the moon is like practically in our house. And it still took a lot to get there. And then we gave up <laughs> after that. God, space terrifies me. Space is the worst. Space is the... Space AIDS is the worst. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see Firefly? Dude, I love that show. Yeah. Watch the entire series. I bet the Reavers have space AIDS. Maybe that's what caused the Reavers to be like they were. <laughs> That's it wasn't the gas that went off on the planet. It was space aids. <laughs> they left the planet going, oh, we're free now. I wonder what's out, space aids. Because they didn't shield their ships. They did not shield their ships. They all got space aids. No, no, space rabies. Yeah. They got space rabies, and they went after everyone. Yeah. They forsworn guns, and they all grabbed a bunch of swords even, and spears. Even look at that, space cannibals. Space cannibals are the worst. Space uh, cannibals have fucking guns and ships and... You're right, the Reavers were far more terrifying than any normal cannibal. Yeah. Normal cannibal, he's just going to come at me, chuck a spear at me, and keep on yeah, rolling. Normal cannibals, are, like, they live on their own island. They're already isolated. <laughs> like, unless I come to them, I'm not going to get eaten by them. But the space cannibals are hunting for you. Yeah. The space cannibals were like an asteroid belt of cannibals. <laughs> it was like, we don't go over there. Why? You're going to get eaten. <laughs> that was pretty terrible. Dude, though. is that like a castle? Wait, was it? It's got like a castle top to it. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a manor with Stupid a castle invisible top. wall. Man, that pink is just freaking everywhere. <laughs> it is. Come on, come on. What was the other questions? Uh, dude, I don't remember them. They sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, drag it, you. it's the sea. Ooh. Oh, if only this game had like progressive damage and you could just watch like all the tears into the paint. Pink with like torn razor slashes. See, we should have gotten the 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 plate that said Bubba on it so we could look at it. That is pretty sexy though. Yeah. Spinning donuts! Spinning yeah! Donuts. I really Someone's like gonna eat you. somebody's gonna <laughs> eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we, have, we have full damage. <laughs> oh shit! I hit a semi head on at full speed carrying a load. Bubba Craig is dead. <laughs> Probably is. 
<laughs> you know what? If the other driver's dead, we could take his load and drive wherever he was going. Wrong way, Fence. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wow. Give me back my view. Ugh. How much damage does that actually do? It's full! <laughs> We've never seen that before. The truck started without a hitch. Maybe it was a lie. Oh man, well, looks like you're gonna have to do another trip to save up to fix your truck. <laughs> we have to take rental jobs to fix the damn- Oh my god, no no, is that what I think it is? Do an outside view on us. Oh god, <laughs> listen to it. That doesn't suck. <laughs> it's fine. I've discovered I like nipple play. Who doesn't? I didn't really know that I was ever into it, and then... Like I'm saying, on me... I like some attention in that area, I didn't know that. Dude, one of the best moments I had was like, handcuffed, I don't... bound... And like, just had my nipples work for about an hour. Alright! I'm out! <laughs> That was too, nope. I don't care about nipples anymore! How was that too much? I don't know why that particularly is super weird to me, but that's too intimate. I don't want to hear about some lady working your nipples. Oh my god. Biting, sucking, twisting. Whoa! Oh, dude. Oh, no, I don't want to think about this. Dude, I've got like half a chubby going on right now. All right. All right, no. Next subject. <laughs> no. Next subject. How was that bad? Why, does, like... the, why does the Pope wear a Jew hat? My nipples are hard. Well, hang on, hang on. Let me um, turn. My, let me turn my cell phone off. Cause I don't need my subtext in me when we're on the road. Everybody, disco, disco. Gonna honk my horn. It's a metaphor. Ladies, no. When I'm on the road. <laughs>